Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn with a carrot. <laughs> and I'm Chef Karen, a registered dietitian who works with um, athletes and people on special diets in so, their home. So that's why we're ha doing the Pro Athlete Veggie Burger with Karen because she and I are pals. Our kids swam together and went to school together and we walk and talk together and talk and talk and talk and talk and hearing about her cooking I thought she has got to be on our YouTube because she's a chef, we're not. And, and she's amazing. I mean she just right in two seconds I've learned so much. <laughs> And she's already run like bazillion miles this morning. We just woke up and she has us all prepped and ready to go. So pro athlete veggie burgers, obviously they start, with, we're going to start cooking and then we're going to chat a little more. But what, do we, what should we start cooking right now for these burgers? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start sauteing the vegetables. And so um, I like to start with some onion and some... What should I turn this on? Medium um, high low? Yeah, like a medium. Okay. Yeah. Oh, should I start doing the carrot now? Yes, please. Uh, I already cut. diced the onions. I did about half of a large onion. That just goes right in the pan. And then um, I like to use poblano pepper. I work with a lot of people that like heat. This is the poblano pepper. It's um, more of a medium heat than you would find in a jalapeno. You can also use a jalapeno pepper. You have to use two of these, or no, one is one. Button. One's probably plenty, unless you like it super hot. Um, and if you don't like any heat at all, you can certainly use a green bell pepper. But I just pre-diced my poblano peppers. That's going to go in the pan. And then Karen, broccoli. Am yes. I doing this right? <laughs> you're, you're doing it on a, not the grating side. You're doing it like yes. a chunk of chunk I of side. I thought it was doing that, that side there. I thought it was <laughs> maybe a little. <laughs> Wait, it's just turning that? into mush. This is like the mince. What is that one? I, I, I did like... Anyway, she was doing like I'm the architectural work. grind or whatever that, it has like a funny shape to it. And then this is a bunch of just roughly chopped broccoli because it's all going to go in the food processor. It was processor. this amount of broccoli. It was yes. she took this and she just chopped it up. Yes, so it doesn't have to be very briefly. fine at all because it's all going in the food processor. Would you please um, do a little of this because <laughs> I don't think I'm doing it well. I think you're fine. See, look, look how, look how. Look how much difference Well, that it is, is flying all over well, your I counter. I think that when you're, that's, that's fine. Grating a carrot is different than buying shredded carrots because shredded carrots are kind of like square shape and they're a little bit dry. And a shredded carrot is so, it's like a flat and it's it's juicy. It's like a matchstick carrot is what you get when you buy them pre -shredded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you yes. were matchsticking them. I wonder what that shape is called. And look at that shape you were doing. You were, well, you mine was like, mush. Okay. You were like grinding the carrot. Neck. The whole goal here is to just get as much as much vegetables in here as we can. Whoops. Um, okay, so here, wait, check it out. We've got she's got her onions and, and then carrots. Just, uh, this is uh, three cloves of garlic. So we're just gonna cook this down, and as this is cooking down, we're gonna well. When it starts to get a little soggy, I usually add about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay, we're not quite soggy yet, but you yeah, can add it on. It'll be, there you go. We'll yeah. get All right. Great. Ha! And that, that smells good already. Okay, so while, um, while those are cooking down and we're, and we're paying attention to it, um, there's a couple other steps that, Karen, you've got in your pro athlete veggie burgers that are totally new to us. We talked about what you do with your two cans of black beans. So two cans of black beans, this will probably yield you about eight or nine burgers depending on how big you make them. Mm -hmm. I like to use my little me half cup measuring cup to make them all uniform. Oh, the burgers are all this size? Yes, so just these um, beans need rinsed and drained and then on a baking sheet, well, we did it ahead of time, so um, here, wait, take a peek here. We did it ahead of time, so what you put them on a parchment lined pan, is that right? And then... Yeah, I mean, it's really more important to make sure the burgers get on the parchment when you're baking them so they don't stick. The beans could be done just on a regular pan, <laughs> but the idea behind this is to um, get some of the moisture out of the beans so that the burgers aren't super soggy. So these have been there about 10 minutes, yes. right? Yes. 10 minutes. And so look, they're kind of dry. And um, it's funny, our, ours are usually like so juicy that they make the burgers too wet. That's yes. such a clever move. Okay, I'm gonna um, stir up these veggies for a minute. 
So Karen, and what's the and then in also in there we're gonna use some Worcestershire sauce. I think I pronounced that incorrectly. And the only one who can pronounce it. Worcestershire. I can't. Worcestershire. Yes. And the only one who can pronounce that. Nobody can pronounce it. It's ridiculous. Yes. Worcestershire. No. Worcestershire. This will go and some ketchup. We'll okay, so uh, but, okay, we've done so we've done the, the veggies section, which is cooking now. We've done the bean section, which is cooling now, right there. So the next move um, oh, is to put some stuff in the in the bowl here yes. of the of the uh, Cuisinart or food processor, whatever you have at home, or large blend, large bl blender might work, or is that too? I think a large blender might be tricky because it just might liquefy. Yeah, yeah like if bottom. you have like a Vitamix or something, I don't think that would work so well. Um, so this. Jane. No, this is. Oh, I hear. Let me help. Yeah, here. This thing is. I can do this in my go. sleep. Okay. There. Okay, and then you just keep that going until it's kind of like a fine flour. Could you use oat flour if you want? Yes. <clears throat> and that would save you, I guess, this step. But that's probably good. Is that good? Yeah. All right, maybe top top. We can see how fine it is. It's it's kind of coarse. A little bit coarse still. All right. So then, what else? What goes into the oats then? Um, um, these are looking actually quite nice. The veggies. Oh, this is when when the veggies start to get soggy. This is when I take my two handfuls. Just, oh, I'll tell this camera. My two handfuls of spinach, and I just. Is that one? Should I carry the one over? Yeah, that's good. So you take two handfuls and coarsely, yeah. or whatever, roughly yeah. go Yeah, roughly at it. chop them. I love, well, so Karen, Karen while you're doing this, tell about your, I know, your, while you're doing this, can you tell us, like, this, there's so much fresh food going into this. There's a couple things that you're at, pro, you've told me your pro athletes say, and, um, or they want from you. Let's talk to the camera up here. Yes. There's a couple things that, that you've told me that your pro athletes have suggested, requested that you as a chef do for them. I mean, they have their own meals here and there and on the road or whatever, but when they're with you, what are, like, there's a couple things I know you've said that they Well, suggest. very, all my clients, even my professional athletes, do not eat dairy, and I don't cook a lot of meat for people. I, pers I myself, am a vegetarian, but... Um, I don't cook a lot of meat for my clients, so they learn how to uh, exist on a diet that is mostly plant-based, uh, mostly um, limited in processed foods, which is why people hire me, because they want to eat fresh, whole foods, and it's very time-consuming. You've said like a lot of, a lot of your um, athletes have grown up, you know, eating just at home with their family or whatever, and that's some processed food for all of us. Um, and then they go to like a D1 program and they're eating just processed food in the dorm or the at the school. Well, so, someone else is feeding them, right? Feeding them, yeah. They don't know how to feed themselves. Tell about this spinach. You've told us a great story. Oh, this, this is a funny thing I like to tell my new um, athletes, especially if they're uh, early in their careers. I usually show them this whole thing of spinach, and then I will say, um, during this home stand, you will consume this entire thing of spinach. And they do look at me like I'm a little crazy. And we don't then, even know what home stand means. So what's a home stand? Okay, the home stand is when they're playing at home. Like for the Guardians, they'll have like a 10-day stretch of games at home, and then they'll go on the road. And then I can't control what they eat when they're on the road. I can only give advice. I would eat this whole thing. If, in one, I mean, if you cook the spinach, yeah. it would be, we could just eat it one, oh, totally. Don't eat one. Oh, oh, I could eat this in yeah. two or three days. Oh, one yeah. day. Yeah. And well, you're giving them all kinds of veggies. Like, look at what we're about to do. So, so this is so exciting. Yeah. And so then after a couple of days, I show them how the container has less spinach in it, and they're pretty shocked. And then by the end of their 10 or 11 days at home, I say, look, it's empty, and they don't even know where it went in their <laughs> meal. So that's kind of, um, I don't know, a fun thing that I've tried that seems to work, especially for the young kids just coming out of their parents house or their d1 program and they've never really had to eat on their own so um it's a effective and a kind of a fun way to do it 
So okay, okay. so we have we have oats in this in the bowl of the cuisine yes. So now we're gonna dump the veggies and the beans in. Our veggies and the beans go in here. Oh yes, great. it and all then we goes have... in. Let's. Um, I don't think it really matters, but this. Well, oh. Can I borrow yours? Okay. Yeah, let me help you here. Yeah, you want to scrape it in, and yeah. I'll just hold Wait, it. Yeah, here okay. we go. All this stuff is going. Yum. So it's just a half cup of oats in there. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, this is. And if you find that you've over roasted your beans. You can add a little bit of moisture by maybe adding some hummus or something like that. A couple tablespoons. So that now we just put the beans in? Um, yeah. Or, and Whoops. Then. Okay, where we go, Wade. Yeah. Woo! Okay. And then That's to just give it art. kind of a burger kind of. So what are we doing here? How much uh, doing that? Yeah. Uh, I'm there, Anna, what is this called? We're, Worcestershire. Yes. Worcestershire. This gives it a little more of a burgery taste. So I do a little Worcestershire, and oh. then that was one tablespoon, and then two tablespoons, tablespoons of ketchup. ketchup. Um, we just try to get ketchup that's got. I mean, ketchup has sugar in it. Just yes. no really getting around it. So we just try to get organic. I did ketchup. find a um, sugar-free ketchup that I've tried, or. Yeah. Here we go. Yes. So this, we just grind. I up. usually like to do it on the pulse okay, so I go. can control. And then you may need. Oh, we need our tovolo. Here's our tovolo. You may need to um, stop it part way through and scrape it. Oh, we always need to do that. Yeah. Because <laughs> the trick is not to over mix it. You want some chunks. Wow. This just smells yummy. Well, what's so yummy yeah. is what's in it. I know, I know, and it's just oh my gosh. It's actually almost done. So really? We'll do it a little more, oh and then we'll form. We'll put Jane on burger forming duty. <laughs> what about me bur forming? Burgers? Oh, okay. We all want to be burger forming. <laughs> well, go. You know, Karen's got her technique of her half cup. I'm gonna get my half cup and see if that helps. Yes. Oh, I see why you wanted the half cup. Yes. So All right, here's just... parchment lined pan. So you just then um, you just scoop the mixture there, and then oh, wow. yeah, go ahead. Oh my goodness! And then where's that? Um, well, I guess we could use this. What do you use? Spatula. The one like burger spatula here. Here, this. here, here, right here. There's a bunch. Of oh yeah, yeah. This is rubber one there. So I just this is. I hope mine comes out as beautifully as yours. Oh my yeah, yeah, gosh, yeah. I've never been this so organized. We usually like, oh. and it has rough edges, and some part gets burned on the corner, and this side's That's thick. fine too, but I just like. I this like is why you're making the pro athlete burgers. Looks like a real burger. That helps. I mean, we eat with our eyes, don't we? So, yeah, I like it when they all kind of look the same, and. Um, yeah. Ah, look Yay. at that. And you want to try one? No, go ahead. Go ahead. And then you just, when you're right before you put them in the oven, I just give them a little squash oh. like that so that they're, you know, the right size. There. So, so just like that. I like them a little oh. on the thicker side. You could do them thinner, but I think they stay together nice like that. So, Karen, um, you, how, because, oh, because these are going to go in the oven for longer than we're filmed. Karen made a batch beforehand, but how long do they cook and at what temperature? I do 350, so I usually preheat my oven before I get started with this. And then um, 15 minutes and then I flip them and then another 10 so that both sides get a nice browning. So it's about 25 minutes? Yes, and then also I will say, um, we're gonna assemble these after we're done with this part of making the mm -hmm. burgers. We're gonna show you the assembled burger, but I, used to make these when my kids were all live at home and they all were athletes in fact two of them still compete at the collegiate level so serious not as serious maybe as the professional athlete but serious enough that i used to make batches of these and leave them in the fridge and then they would grab them cold and just gra eat them you know as like a snack on the way out the door or if they cool. needed you know and you can they Yum. reheat super easy so if you want to you know have the burger the next day. So it's nice to make a batch that doesn't make just like three or four. You get a batch of nine, and that can last you a little Oh, that one while. was a little bit not as successful. Sorry. 
Mm. No, but it smashes successfully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Eight, 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 yeah. Eight, nine. Nine, yeah. I like smashing them. It's a little, it feels. Okay, so we can yeah. move on to like the, the um, you know, they, they stick together nicely. Yeah. No, they, they I, I, that's, and I think that that's because of this amazing the beans, beans and oats. Yeah. That, that you, and I also think too that. You were that, revolutionizing my idea of mm, a, a burger. Veggie, veggie burger. burger. Well, I think too that the other thing is some people try to fry them and I don't use a lot of oil. So uh, baking them, I think, is the healthier option, and they 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 get brown and hold together before you flip them instead of oh, like in the pan when they start falling apart. Good, just like that. You could eat them raw. I mean, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, I've been. I think a little. Well, maybe this is this is just going to be a little mm, mini one. I think um, this is the quarter right pounder. Right. This is our not quarter pounder, but our. Uh oh. This is oh, the runt. A little runt. It's the runt. <laughs> Yeah. Karen, thank you for letting us it do all this. It doesn't look wow. like a runt. No, thank you for doing it. Yeah. Ah! Woo! Beautiful. Okay, so we got nine burgers. So we're gonna, we would put these in the oven for 15 minutes like this and then flip them for 10 and is that 3.50? Yes. Um, I want to show Karen, you what Karen made for us before she came. These are the completed burgers. Look at those yummy, yummy, yummies. Oh. Top shot. Woo! Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, these will have whatever you want to put on them. But Karen has a special sauce she makes for hers, so we've asked her to do that. And what do you call it, Karen? There's a name for it? Ah, uh, roasted red pepper sauce. sauce? <laughs> That's a great name. And for those um, clients of mine that I cook for that can't eat gluten, um, I like to use lettuce leaves for the burger bun. Um, another thing I like to try is um, a sweet potato. If you slice it um, crosswise, you get the nice little discs and you can just roast those and use those. But today we're gonna do um, lettuce leaf buns. So the burger, Ooh, oh here, yeah. I'm just gonna slide one on here. And then we can show you. Everything just looks prettier because the way you do it. <laughs> um, okay, and then the sauce will go on here, but um, which we'll sh we can show the sauce. This is the roasted red pepper sauce. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Um, and then this is just it's so it's like two roasted red peppers. So I the roasted. So basically, if you're roasting red pepper, you just Cut it in half like this and peel out the seeds like that. Two seconds. Face down on a baking sheet like this. We yeah. We have a roasted red pepper video that we can learn how to roast them yeah. if you care. And so then, so these the are the finished roasted red peppers. These go in the Vitamix. Did you see how she kept some skin on? Yeah. And then the onion. How much onion? About a half onion? Um, yeah, I used the other half of the onion that I put in the burgers, but mm -hmm. I probably didn't quite use all of it. Okay. And then um, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. It's a slow drip on that. Oh, okay. you said um, uh, uh, what, what other vinegar possible? Oh, you could, if you're, you could also use a red wine vinegar. I'm just partial to the balsamic, which is fine. Oh, yeah. can, I grow, can I grind some black pepper in there? I think it says black pepper. Oh, sure. Fee, fi, fo, fum. And then I usually ah. start the blending and then I add some herbs. For this particular burger, I like to use cilantro. Should I start blending it? Sure. And if I'm using it for some other purpose, sometimes I put parsley and basil in it. It gives it a little more of a, like an Italian feel. I have I no guess. idea what gear we're starting in, so sorry if it's loud. Oh. Well, that didn't get much done. No, <laughs> shoot, here, turn it down. I, don't... Looks, I think I looks. have a narrower. Um... You, you must have a more narrow one. Ours is kind of wide and having three kids, we have we have gnarled off the end of our wand. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yep. yep. Well, you can also add a little bit of water if we need to. That would do the trick. We may need to add water just to get her done. Yeah, yeah. But in the meantime... Um, I'll keep trying to make this. You, you keep making your burger. Yes. So I um, also like to add sliced tomato to... 
the burger. Look which, at your beautifully sliced tomato. How do you do? Uh, yes. So then I just put a couple tomato slices. And then here is my mandolin and this. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Beautifully sliced. Oh. And you can just cut this little core out. Or eat the core. Yes, you, yes, you can. Good. Or you can cut there, but, but you don't have to. Not with their burgers with the, or the and then um, with the core. as much uh, avocado as you like. I'm a heavy avocado, so there. Put some avocado, and then um, here, here's a. Oh, thank you. And then the last but not least, I pickle my own um, jalapeno peppers. What's that the, what's is the just juice? so that is just white wine vinegar. I have also used apple cider vinegar. You can pretty much use whatever vinegar. So you just slice your your. Yes, I uh, slice them. Uh, your mandolin. Yes, right on the mandolin, and then um, you can also use. I have pick, also pickled vegetables with lemon juice or lime juice. That, that just smells also good. Something. It doesn't. It doesn't smell as threatening. Here's a top shot. Look at those yummer yummers. Mm. And then if you have like just a fork. Yeah. Here, and then you just because you don't want to get the juice. Does the vinegar make it less uh, hot? Hot? Um, that is a good question. I. It's you'll have, to, you'll have to taste it because I can't. Yes. I can't eat that um, much. So you don't want to get all the vinegar in, on the burger because it'll make it soggy. Uh, but you can just put as many of those on as you like. And the nice thing about these is that they'll stay in your fridge for weeks. Oh, yeah. and, uh, so will whatever. Those be use. hot, hot, hot. On there. We don't know. We, we I mean, we'll they'll see. be as hot as the pepper was, I do believe. So, and then I find, like to find the big leaves on the end, and then maybe. Oh, there. Oh, beautiful. And hot. there you go. Can we slice this in half and have I have a yeah, yeah, each yeah. have a quick bite? Don't yeah. you think? Don't you think? Okay, sure. my, I, I just don't want you to do that. Here's here's me? what's ready to do. Or is it better to pick the whole thing up? How do, how do we eat one. this? Hmm, good question. We're gonna try to well, slice it. Well, if you guys want to okay, each have before, a bite, let's you know slice let's it. Make, make, can, we make, can we make two? Can we make two? Yes. We have all the stuff. Make yeah, another one. Let's make another one. I, I'm sorry. Um, Wade. 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 Make one for Wade, too. Yeah. Who cares? Oh, Wade is the... So, I wish they were hotter, though. Mouth is They're not. Over His mouth is watering. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. Oh, look at all these beautiful tomatoes. Oh, this is... Yeah. Here, I'm put them on the plate because we can... Where's the rest of that avocado? There you right go. Right there. Okay. And then jalapeno. Your little jalapeno. If you don't want a lot, you can use less. Yeah. You could also pickle onions, which would be really great. And I like to pickle my onions in balsamic. Some red onion you could slice, pickle that. Oh. That would go on there really nicely. Um, I just want to make another yes. one. These are so pretty. I just want to keep making them. I was them. telling Anne also that for when my kids were home, I used to pickle vegetables and leave them in the fridge so they could put them on sandwiches and things, or even on salads. So we had a lot of uh, red pepper sauce and pickled red onion in our fridge when they were in high school. All right, we have constructed three of these beautifully, <gasps> and I'm going to have Wade take the one that has the most jalapeno on top. And... Ann and I are going to have one that have, I'm actually going to give Wade an extra one of mine. <laughs> That's fine. And, Boy. um, and actually, you want to have a lot of my jalapeno? Yeah, I'm going to just try okay. it the way One in Rome, one in Rome. And we're going to lid these. They're so pretty. I didn't want to lid them just yet. So here's a top shot. Look how pretty those are. Yes. And there you go, mommy. There you go, well, Wade. Karen doesn't get one. Karen said she already knows what it tastes like and she yes. wants to see us eat it. So Wade, here comes to you. Yes. Do you want a plate? Or something? Oh, I might need one. You might need I'll a just plate. use this one. Use yeah, the use the carrot plate. Yeah, there yep. you go. All right, <laughs> here we go. Oh, I don't have a lid. I don't have, okay. Ah! I'm I so am. excited, and I usually have like ketchup and mustard and like Americanized flavor. Yeah, I never so had so excited. anything. But ah! Oh my god. That's so good. That is so good. No, oh, no, thank you. Karen. <laughs> Karen, yeah. do you want one? Wow. Thank you. I'm eating, this is how I typically eat them. Oh, she's eat eating them. your display. I eat them on the go as pet. Sometimes <laughs> I use the two burgers as my buns, and I stuff spinach and avocado in between. A reverse burger. Yes, that's how I eat them. Oh, how funny. Well, yes. yum. Hey, cheers. We hope you guys enjoy what? your pro athlete veggie burgers from Chef Karen. Thank you for having and me. It's mm. been so, we should have her again, shouldn't we? All right, let us.
Oh, Let us gosh. know how you enjoy your burgers. Everyone here is just crunching and bunching. The cameraman's a mess. Wait, the cameraman. Wade's a mess. He can't even hold his camera. All right. Hey, mwah. thanks so much. And thank you, Karen. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Anne. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>